chronic homelessness has been a priority for County Executive Chris Abley. He's currently battling with the county board to reverse $200,000 in cuts to homeless shelters. County Exec Abley is joining us today, and where does that battle stand? Well, uh, as you know, it started where we proposed a budget, my proposed budget included funding uh, for the shelters and obviously continuing work on the project on homeless, chronic homelessness. Uh, the board removed the funding. We pleaded with them to restore it. Uh, they heard from a lot of people at their own budget hearing, uh, and I know they're hearing from people now. Uh, we sent down uh, a little over a month ago a fund transfer, so if they want, they can pull the money from contingency. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still there. They can do that any time. Obviously, uh, it's a priority. I mean, you know, the frustrating thing to me is when they cut about $15 million of revenue, this isn't the only issue we're going to run into like this. The reason I added more revenue is precisely to avoid this sort of uh, 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 drama and the fact that people uh, on the street have to worry about whether or not there's going to be shelters available. I don't think that's something you play games with. Uh, but obviously there uh, is still time and any time they want, they can pass that transfer. We can make it happen very quickly. You talked about... It's just crucially important. You this is for the shelter funding. Right, shelter yeah. Funding, so this okay. is uh, revenue that you thought you could get through the wheel tax. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and so are, is there anything in your powers, though, can say that 200000 can be restored? Well, what we're probably going to try and do, if they don't, is pull it, for, basically create a deficit somewhere else. I mean, I don't like having to do this, but uh, my concern about doing that is as soon as we do that, you know, we start getting this cascade sure. of mm -hmm. cuts and cuts and cuts. And, uh, you know, I think most people who know me know fiscally I'm pretty conservative. I'm not looking for ways to waste your money. This, though, is not a waste of your money. Especially when you're seeing progress in what you have uh gone out to do when it comes to eradicating right. chronic homelessness. Mm -hmm. So why would the board see a need to take away when you see something working? Uh, well, you'd have to ask the board sure. on that. Um, you know, I, I spend my time looking for not fights, but solutions. And I think there is one here. Uh, the good news on chronic homeless, though, uh, homelessness uh, is that uh, we haven't just dramatically reduced uh, chronic homelessness, we've dramatically reduced overall homelessness. We announced this program just a few years ago, uh, and the goal was to end uh, functional zero chronic homelessness in three years with permanent housing. Um, what we've also done is drop uh, overall homelessness, which had been hovering for over a decade around 1,500 or so, a little higher. Uh, and was slowly increasing, and all of a sudden it plunges to about 900. Now, you know, that's great progress, but as everybody who's watched a Packer game that starts off really well, <laughs> sure, and doesn't start playing well. prevent, <laughs> you're thinking, don't go to prevent. But it was, it was hard. a bold prediction. Yeah. Why were yeah. you confident that you, uh, that you could actually be a game changer, that this could change the direction of the numbers? Well, a big part of our success so far has been a lot of good partners, a lot of good planning, a lot of measurement. But it's uh, a unique a program as well, staff. right? Yeah, this housing first model yes. where people get permanent housing. Um, the other st statistic that is incredibly uh, uh, standout for Milwaukee and homelessness is that uh, the percentage of people who've been given housing who've stayed with it mm -hmm. uh, is close to 100%, which is one of the highest wow. rates that anybody's had. So the retention mm -hmm. rate is good. Mm -hmm. Well, people I would stay. love to stay in a home if I had a home. Let me ask you, just for our viewers who may not understand the difference between chronic homelessness mm -hmm. and sure. Overall homelessness. Can you just give sure. a definition? So there are terms that uh, the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development (HUD) uses. Chronic homelessness. That uh, people who are chronically homeless are homeless for over a year, or they're homeless. Uh, I think it's uh, more than four times in three years. Uh, so at any given time, like right now, you took a snapshot in any city, the number of chronically homeless are, on any given moment, a relatively small percent, 10, 15 percent. But if you add up the amount of shelter bed days, people are homeless all across a year, they're a huge percentage. Because other people, they're there, but they get out. Uh, you know, like a house burns down or they have to, you know, they're in between a place to stay and there's degrees. Uh, but the place, if you really want to address homelessness, the place to start is the hardest and the most vulnerable and that's uh, the chronic homeless. And it's also to have that place to start for them. Instead of dealing with it in a piecemeal fashion, they go to one service over here, they right. go to another service right. over here. And what became the million dollar man about this person out of New York City who was just, they spent that amount of money on versus on just one person instead mm -hmm. of putting them in the shelter right. and then that began the road to recovery right 
Right, and, and your viewers should know also, for those of you who hear about this and think, okay, how much money is being spent on this, one of the reasons uh, that people like this program is when the chronically homelessness are given housing, they uh, have encounters with law enforcement a lot less. This is a group that law enforcement are very familiar with, mm -hmm. that emergency rooms at hospitals very expensively see these people, they don't get stabilized. So we are dramatically reducing the hospital visits, we're dramatically reducing the time that public uh, safety has to spend right. with the same folks so they can focus on your neighborhoods. Uh, so it saves money, but it's also the right thing to do. I mean, that's why we're mm -hmm. in government is to empower people. And it seems like uh, this has been, you know, we talk about it a lot in January when we're in these deep freeze, but mm, this yeah. is a year-long problem. Year -long. We appreciate yeah. you coming in, County Executive you Chris Abel, to talk you. about this. Thank you. All right.